So the first thing you're gonna do is activate the Wi-Fi access point or Wi-Fi AP on the inverter. So to do that, you need to go to the setup menu. So you press the third button here, and then you'll see the menus, and you can scroll either left or right with the first and second button. So I'm gonna press the second button here, and I go over until I can see the setup menu, which is basically a spanner and a screwdriver symbol. You press the fourth button to enter, scroll down to Wi-Fi access point, and then press the fourth button to enter again, and then the fourth button again, and it'll activate the Wi-Fi AP. So the first thing you need to do is get into the Wi-Fi settings on your smart device. Then you need to select the number that starts with either 240 or 239 to connect to the data manager card. So then in this case, it's a 239 number because it's a SIMO hybrid. And then you enter the password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the data manager card is now connected to your smart device. Then you need to open up a web page on your browser and enter the IP address 192.168.250.181. And then on the left hand side of the page, you'll see various tabs. You're going to go to the network tab and then you're going to go down to WLAN settings and you're gonna find the Wi-Fi network that you need to configure. You click on that and press set. And this is where you put in your password. Then press save to set, save your password. A tip here, if you press show password, you can check that the password that you've entered is, is correct. The password has now been changed. Once that is saved, press on configure WLAN IP and just check that it's on dynamic. So it's on dynamic, so press okay. And then most importantly, press the tick button at the top to save. So to check that the Wi-Fi network settings have saved correctly, activate the Wi-Fi access point again and connect to it via your Wi-Fi enabled device and then head back to the inverter homepage. So once you're on the inverter homepage, on the right hand side, you'll see system information, click on that. And then what you want to look for is the LED states and you want to make sure that the globe symbol is a solid green. And that means that you have saved your network settings correctly. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I hope it helps you to change the Wi-Fi network settings on your data manager card.